everyone, it's Sam here. Thank you for watching. So I have been receiving a ton of lovely, beautiful cards over the last few months. I recently moved house um, towards the later part of last year. So I've been getting some lovely new home cards and they're still coming through my door now, which is lovely. On top of that, I had Christmas. So I've had a ton of Christmas cards and I've also recently celebrated my birthday. So I've got some birthday cards. So what I thought I would do is I'm going to show all of the cards across three videos. So I'm going to do a new home video. Uh, birthday card video and Christmas card video. These are really good videos for inspiration. So, and also for me to thank everybody as well. But it's quite nice, I think, to see a big variety of birthday cards, for example. Most of them are tutorials that I've done. So what I will do is link a either a list of the tutorials or I will make a playlist um, with all of those in there. So you can go and check them out. And yeah, just hopefully it gives you lots of inspirations. So this wonderful card here has been made by Julie and it's one of those easel cards. But what I love about this is how she's got all of the bees attached. Now she's used all of, well, a lot of the dies from my Twist and Pop collection. And you can see all of these lovely little creatures here, all the little snail's eyes coming off. Let's just stick that back down. I, she's put, you know, gems, all like little googly eyes on them. You've got the picket fence, but I just love how she's used the acetate and they just all wobble around they are so so cute she even got Colin the caterpillar there which is lovely and then what she's done with this which I like is the message is in this piece here that slides out which I think is really clever and I think that'd be a nice way to have a gift card as well or maybe some money because it's a five by seven size so you've got all that space in there but a very very cute style like I said I've got this one on the channel I did it with a Daisy May it was um I've done a couple with Daisy May actually so again I will um like I said, have them all linked below, but how cute is that? I think that's a beautiful new home card. So I'll keep them laid out here where I can. Then I've got this wonderful card, which is by Jeanette. And so all folded flat like so, new home across the front. And then it displays like this. And then you've got your message in this little top fold card, which actually attaches it all together, which I thought was really cute. I love the images that she's used there and the colours as well. Very much my style. Very, very sweet. Thank you, Jeanette. And then I've got this one here, which is from Mary. So she's used the 6x6 wiper die set here and my new home stamps and dies. She's got this lovely embossing folder here with the brickwork on, which is great. And then when you pull the sides, you've got the house and the keys and the little party hat there that pops out the top. I love this style. I never get bored of the wiper cards. I think they're so much fun. So again, thank you, Mary. And then I've got another wiper card. So this is the inner wiper. So again, this one's been made by Kay. She has also used my 6x6 die set, but she's followed the inner wiper tutorial that I shared. So you can have your image popping out the top or you can have it popping out in the middle there. I just love how she's built up all the houses. You've got that paper there. Again, with a little key. Very, very fun. I love that. Then I've got this gorgeous one, which is using my pop-up house. It was the gingerbread house in my paper craft society. And this is from Tracy. So this is the front and she's used, that was one of my sentiments. And then she's obviously got this die from her stash. Love all the little details here that she's added as well. And then when you open it up, look at this. Happy new home. So she's used my chunky alphabet dies. And again, she's used my new home um, little pieces there. But I love that she's added a little sausage dog. So we've got Monty on the card there and Rose Cottage, which is what I have moved into, my lovely little cottage that I'm doing up. And I just love all the detail all the way around there. So much decoration on this, it's gorgeous. And the roses, the butterflies, it's pink. It's it's just so me, it's, yeah. Again, I said it when um, I showed a few of these during Facebook Lives, the amount of detail and effort you guys put into your cards, is it's just lovely, I really enjoy receiving them. This one here is really, really sweet. This is from Kim. And this one here, she's just raised up this image on some foam, but the way she's colored it in, it's given it so much dimension. You've got the new home there as well on that blue mirrored card. I think that's really sweet. I love the, um, like the blue water and everything in the back as well. It's lovely, thank you. And then the one my mum made. My mum always tries to do a card that I haven't done before whenever she does a birthday card, Christmas card or whatever. So she's done this one for me and she loves doing mini albums and junk journals and things like that. So she makes lots of things that could fit in pockets, which this one would, you could put photos onto this. On the back here, home sweet home. And she's put a lovely little message there, but again, I'll leave that one. And then you open it up and you pull it out. 
and it's my cottage inside. She's done all my rooms. Let me just tie this together. Okay, so just roughly tied it up there. So <laughs> this is so good. So here's my bedroom and she's used my actual wallpaper on this part here. And then you can see the little bed there that she's got, the side table, clock. She's even got the wardrobe. <laughs> <laughs> which I thought was brilliant. She's got my bathroom here, and the lady in the tub with her champagne, of course. There's even a little dog there. She's put some um, textured flooring there. And then we've got the living room with Monty again and my lovely fire, my new shelving that I had put in. <laughs> and then we've got the kitchen, which again has a little cupboard here with all bits and bobs inside. <laughs> Again, I know this took her ages to do. Oh, and I've just noticed actually on the dog bowl it says Monty. So that's very good. <laughs> but I thought that was really nice. What a lovely idea. It did lay a lot. Um, you know, you can have it lay more flat. You've just got to kind of fold them down that way. And then I bet you can see it lays much flatter. But it's such a cool keep. I mean, all of my new home cards are my keepsake. I will are going in a box and I will keep these forever because it's obviously a nice memory of this journey and the cottage. All of the other cards, birthdays and Christmases, I keep for a year and then my mum uses a lot of them and recycles them or she uses like the toppers on them and they get recycled that way. So, yeah, they get enjoyed again by somebody else. But how wonderful is that? So thank you, mum. OK, then I've got this lovely one, which I have only just recently received. And I just love that this one was by Kimberly and she's used my magic colour slide with the new home poem um, image. And I would have never thought of putting them together, but it's worked so well. And I love how colorful the image is. So when you lift this, you get that lovely colored image. And it's a little cottage, it's so cute. Really, really lovely. And um, again, I shared this one during a Facebook Live and lots of people thought it was such a great idea. So I think they've given it a go. So yeah, it's nice to be able to see it's another good mix and match example of my Made to Surprise products working, you know, with different things. Then I got this lovely TP card. This is from uh, Sharon. So that's how it comes flat. And then you just bring round the back. And you've, oh, and you've got a little hook and loop there. And then look at the front, a little Wellington boots, which I've got that colour boots. They're in my garden now on their little boot stand. Cocktails, of course, I love a cocktail. And then we've got Monty there and we've got the new home embossed. And that gorgeous paper, really sweet. It stands up so nicely, that one. Another one that stands really nice is this one here. Everything starts with a dream. And this has always been a dream. I've always wanted to own a cottage um, and take on all of the work that comes with it because this one certainly got a lot of work, but it's I'm loving every minute of it. But she's just created this gorgeous little scene. This is from Linda. And I think it's so cute. Little picket fence. You've got the little basket there. Again, just die cutting and making that little piece there. All these things take so much time. Um, so yeah, I just want you to know, I do appreciate it, um, from one card maker to another. They're really, really lovely. Um, this one, well, what can I say? This is from my wonderful friend, Lou, who is Lou Collins on YouTube. And she's also the presenter for Craft Stash. We are work besties. We speak every day and she made me this replica of my house. So this is the front of my cottage and I just, uh, this is staying up all of the time in my craft room. That is my new front door, which she's got so well. She's done this obviously at Christmas time. So this is my Christmas tree in the window. There's floral wallpaper inside there. And this all lights up. So if I just turn it on, oh, my porch is exactly how it looks. All of the guttering and the drainage, the colour, everything. She's just done all of this detail it is spot on so she said she was um looking at pictures of my house in detail to get all of this correct even the wonky tiles I mean it's an old place so <laughs> nothing straight in this house but isn't that gorgeous and I'm not sure Lou didn't do a tutorial for this because she, I think she said it took her eight hours to make but she did one for her husband as well I think she is going to do maybe some kind of this kind of style tutorial so you can maybe you know get some ideas that way but head over to um yeah Lou Collins on YouTube and uh, you'll be able to see her lovely work over there and turn that off now so I remember then this is another really sweet one so this is the corner kind of bendy card this is from Sarah look at this <laughs> new beginnings new home that beautiful tree even the little metal key here 
gorgeous papers. It's stunning. This displayed so nicely and I, I love it. So just again, I've had them flat for a while now, but you can see how that one works. Um, again, trying to keep them all here. Then I got this lovely one, really unusual. This is from Linda. So that's how it folds down flat. And then you open this up and this opens up to reveal this lovely little diorama inside. Again, these are from my new home collection. She's cut this from one of my paper pads and I love the big toadstool at the back there and the little paw prints there as well to reference Monty and the little bone and stuff. I think it's so cute. And even the little um, letterbox, it works there. You can lift that up. Isn't that cute? <laughs> it's adorable. And then so I've got a few more still. Oh, I've got another pile. I've got my birthday card pile toppling over. Let's just keep that one. There we go. So this one. Now, this one isn't homemade. However, it is a pop-up and my nan sent me this one. So, you know, if you've been following me, nan loves to do some crafting. Nan has her own playlist. So if you're new here, crafting with nan, I'll have it linked up here, if not below. And uh, yeah, if you want to just watch some humble videos and have a laugh then check those out but yeah so she knows i love cards and so she's got this pop-up one for me and it's so cool look at this how gorgeous is that and again it's got this slide out card which i think is really cool so i love that that idea isn't that really clever and it all just folds down it's just so fun love the way that that all just comes together all those elements so yeah not homemade but i think it was worthy to show within this new home video and i've got this cute one here again little monty dog there you've got the little door here this was from the yeah the gingerbread die set from my magazine kit you've got a new home there this one was from laurel thank you laurel very cute i love all the little details there and again that lovely mirrored card um then i've got this one here which is from penny and i think she's used her digital cutting machine here for the home sweet home really nice i love how you've layered that up with the silver card and then this gorgeous little window and the brickwork very very sweet yeah love that one and even the blinds inside there as well and these die cutting all of those <laughs> that takes some time and then I've got this one, which was um, I've only recently just got. <laughs> it's so good. So this is from Dawn. <laughs> She's obviously been onto my Instagram account. So I have an Instagram called Lovely Rose Cottage. And I'm sharing all of my kind of DIY renovation progress over there. And she's taken the picture that I uploaded there. But what I love is that she's added all of the green grass because this is just mud. <laughs> There's a little bit of green like here, but it, I just laughed when I saw this. So this is a big project that's going on for, you know, the whole year. But um, I love it shows off my brand new um, fencing there, which is good. But what's so cool about this is this is that's an actual picture of Monty. <laughs> And then when you pull this, he moves along. I think it's, it really made me laugh. Enjoy your new digs. There's a lovely message inside and it just really made me smile, which all these cards have. But I just thought that's so good. I love some of you where you've really like personalised it with, you know, things like what Lou's done there. And this is, you know, an actual image. My wallpaper's on one of them and the dog and just the little nods to like the colours that have been used and things like that. I really appreciate it all. But it does give me a nice kind of vision of how the garden is going to look when it has real grass. So that's nice to see. <laughs> nice big garden for Monty there. So, yeah, thank you so much. That made me smile. And then the last one for now, like I said, this may well become a part two. This is from my lovely DT Jenna and friend. She's done this one here. This nice big one of my front door, that gorgeous teal colour. And then she's used these gorgeous flowers and built up a little wreath. And uh, with the new home sign there as well on that banner. I love the letterbox and the, the knob and stuff. It's so cool. So yeah, thank you, Gemma. So those are some new home cards to give you some inspiration like i said i will put into a playlist pretty much most of these even things like this one i've got on my channel i've got this one um i've even got something like this as well that pulls along we've got the tp the wipers um like i said mums i haven't but i'm sure there's tutorials out there the pop-up ones dioramas things like that so it should all be in there so hopefully the you'll be able to find something to help you or at least get you started anyway and 
yeah big thank you to all of these people here that have sent me these gorgeous cards i will keep them forever so thank you for watching the next video will be the birthday card playlist i'll probably do them every other day just so they're yeah out there they're done um so yeah look out for that video if you want to see some more inspiration or maybe even see the card if you sent me one so i'll see you all again soon bye